Lego is making the UCS Razor Crest for 2022. Hey guys, it's the Lego Chooser here, and today I'm going to show you what LEGO Con 2022 showed us and why I believe that the UCS Razor Crest is a huge possibility. So it's not a confirmed possibility, but I do believe that it's the strongest one for now. In LEGO Con 2022, the LEGO Star Wars design team, before introducing the ATD and Justifier, were wearing a very specific t-shirt about the Razor Crest. And I really didn't want to believe so. I thought it was going to be a Master Builder series. It was going to be a pattern of 2018, 2020, and 2022. And I thought it was going to be an Andor or a Death Star. However, LEGO showed us something else in LEGOCon. So I'm going to give you a detailed explanation of how I see this set if it end up being true. So as you know, it's going to be $530. And I expect it to have about... 400 pieces, I'd say 4,200, a little more, because it's going to be a very detailed set. And this is going to be massive. This is a comparison with the UCS gunship, and it's going to be about 70 centimeters long. That's why I, what I expect. It's going to be about 50 watt because the engines are just massive, and it's going to be fairly tall, not as the gunship, because the gunship does have a stand. However, build-wise, with the stand, I think it's going to be 35 centimeters tall. This thing is just going to be very, very bulky and very, very big. And this is a comparison with the UCS Falcon, so you can see the two massive vessels. And the Falcon is fairly larger, I'd say about 15 centimeters larger. And it's, well, it's going to be like 10 to 15 centimeters wider. However, the Razor Crust is a bit taller. And just so you know, guys, that image is a mock from Internet. It's not the official set. It's just a small scale of what I expect the size to be compared to, to the Star Wars sets. So for the minifigures, I believe we're going to have a Din Djarin. He's going to be arm printed and going to have a very exclusive torso, leg, even the helmet, I believe everything is going to be different. Plus, the face has got to have something exclusive as well. And I don't believe this Dencharn should be the same as this one shown on the screen. Because that Dencharn is in like five sets. And I really do believe that LEGO is going to try to make him exclusive. Even though not like the gunship. I really do expect that they're going to make him exclusive. And the figure selection is not going to be like the UCS gunship having only two minifigures. With this set, I do expect a full-on interior and a lot of details, so I expect about six to nine minifigures. And Grogu, of course, going to take part there, no changes for him. And that Ugnaught, I'm representing Quill, I do believe he should be in the set and should be exclusive as well. I think we should also get IG-11, an exclusive version of Grief Karga, another exclusive version of Cara Dune, plus a Scout Trooper, and maybe they're going to add a two or three more characters, but this is my speculation for now, so I'm really shocked that LEGO might be doing this, because I really thought it was going to be a Master Builder series. The last five direct-to-consumer set were UCS sets. Well, if this is a UCS, it's going to be five in a row that are UCS. The R2-D2, which surely isn't UCS, however, he's more UCS than Master Builder series, definitely more UCS. So we got R2-D2, the gunship, the at, -AT the land speeder, and if we get the Razor Crest, I feel like it's going to be a lot of UCS sets without having a Master Builder series. But as you know, LEGO loves breaking patterns. So this is just my speculation of this rumor, if it becomes true. If not, I'm going to do a rumor list for the Master Builder series. But guys, 